Yo! What's up, guys? Frank Daniels here. Today, I am talking about training and how you can screw up posture. I'm going to give you some specific exercises to be able to fix that. Now, before I go into that, I have a free report. It's called Seven Steps to Shredded. If you're interested in getting lean, getting jacked, you're going to take yourself down below. Click the first link in the description. Also know at the end of this video, you'll see it in one of these pop-ups here. You can just click it and download. Let's talk about posture, how it gets screwed up, and why it would benefit you to be able to create balance in your training. Basically, when you create postural balance, uh, your joints are going to be what we call centrated, so in the center, not imbalanced, and not banged up, right? If you're banged up, you're not going to perform at a high level. When you have balance, uh, you're going to get stronger. You're going to maximize performance. Uh, you're even going to maximize hormonal balance because if your joints are out of whack, that creates inflammation. Inflammation influences hormones, so they are indirectly related, right? All this is good stuff, um, or hey, vote of, hey, let's create balance and not get all screwed up, right? Now, the big question is how do we get all screwed up? How do we create postural imbalance? And it's important to know that just life in itself has humans folding forward. So what I'm talking here is about, or talking about here is having a balance of posterior chain exercises versus anterior chain exercises. So balancing the back of the body to the front of the body. And if you look at the diagrams over here, you'll see front side, okay, back side stuff anterior versus posterior, right? And most of our, most of everything we do in life is dominated by the anterior chain or the front of the body. So if you think about babies in the uterus, right, we are born in the fetal position. So we are folded forward. If you've ever seen the diagram of where the human beings come from, from apes, right? The apes start, you know, they're all folded forward and then slowly picture by picture the human starts to stand tall. Gravity itself is pulling us forward, right? Gravity just wants to fold us down and forward. Now we have all these postural, societal things that we've set up to continue to do that to us as well. So we're constantly sitting, constantly folded forward, hunched over desks, over phones, over workspaces, right? And then if you just kind of look at old people, see what happens to them, the effect of this over time starts to fold them forward, right? So gravity... Um, and and just evolution itself is folding human beings forward as we move through life. Add to that fact that everything that we do is pretty much focused on the front side of the body, right? We're just looking at the front. So we want to work the pecs, right? That's what we see. Let's work that stuff. We want to get the front of the shoulders. We're pressing. We're overhead pressing. Um, we're working on the abs, doing this all day. Okay, that's what we see. That's what we take selfies with, right? Like, boom, that's what we're, that's what we're just seeing all day. So we dominate that stuff, okay? Not a lot of people taking selfies of the backside. Okay, some women are, okay? Rightfully so. But not a lot of us dudes out there are taking selfies of the backside, okay? I hope not. I hope not. You understand what I'm saying, okay? We're looking at the front, we dominate the front. So we want to balance that, right? So here's how we do it. Anterior versus posterior. I'm going to give you the posterior chain exercises that can help you create balance, okay? Protect yourself and perform at a higher level. Let's look at the upper body backside. These are exercises, okay, that you can throw into your program that will help you dominate the upper body back, okay? Things like pull-ups, Rowing exercises, and again, this is, you know, it's not just with a dumbbell. There's multiple ways you could do this with cables, um, you know, whatever it takes to get into that type of activity, right? Y's, T's, W's. These are typically upper body, just kind of rear shoulder exercises where you're working towards the back of the body. They're done in a variety of ways. TRXs on Swiss balls, okay, bending forward, whatever it might be. Uh, bent over flies, okay, you guys know what that looks like. And then cable flies, not cable flies that move forward, but cable flies that come towards the back of the body, right? We want to get a lot of these exercises in our program and create that better balance. How about the lower body backside? Those are exercises like deadlifts, okay? Really dominates that posterior chain, deadlifts, just the back of the body in general. Great exercise. Romanian deadlifts, that's with less knee bend and more just kind of hip hinging. Kettlebell swings, once again, hip hinging, dominated by the glutes and the hamstrings, not necessarily the quads, right? Um, exercises like bridges, glute bridges. We see females do this stuff a lot. Um, they're working on the glutes. I recommend this for everybody, right? Just an important exercise. Uh, and then exercises like the glute hand machine, if you have one of those in your gym, you definitely want to do that. These exercises dominate the backside of the body, 
dominate the back side of the body. How about the core? Okay? Um, not a ton of core exercises that work on the just kind of lower back area or back side of the body, but let's go over a few. Um, backwards planks. Okay? That's where I'm just kind of lying backwards and I'll get my hands behind me instead of in front of me, once again, dominating that front side. Right? Um, reverse hypers, if you have a reverse hyper machine in your gym, that's something that's going to, you can focus on the lower back, which is the back side of the core. Right? Um, Superman exercises, laying forward on the floor and then just kind of like going backwards here or arms here where I'm just kind of crunching backwards instead of forward. Right? And then things like... Um, Weighted carries, kettlebell carries, dumbbell carries, farmer's carries, those things, they're not directly focused on, on you know, the back side of the core area, but they do work the core, they do work the back, um, and help you kind of to get that stuff going. All right, guys, so we want to make sure that our programs are, if not balanced, front side of the body to back side of the body, uh, but somewhat a two-to-one ratio. Right? And especially if you're feeling banged up, okay? your, your joints are feeling off, they feel banged up, it's usually because you're dominated by folding forward, doing too much chest press, too much overhead pressing, too much squatting, too much lunging, exercises that dominate the front side of the body and not enough stuff that dominates the back side of the body. So this is very important, guys. It's important to balance your training so that, uh, you know, so that, Gravity in itself is working for you. We're standing upright. We're balancing the shoulder joints. We're balancing the hip joints, okay, and balancing the core so we perform at a higher level, okay, and maximize our training, okay, and our physical prowess in general. That's what it's all about. So I hope this makes sense to you guys. I hope this video helped you out. If you really enjoyed it, make sure you head down below, like, leave a comment, and of course, drop a question, man. Let me know what's going on, okay? Subscribe to this channel, and you guys out there that want that seven steps to shredded. You're going to see it here or see it here. My name is Frank Daniels, guys. Enjoy your day.